What up folks, Jacques Slade here, and for this week the drops include some premium stuff, some Olympic stuff, and some stuff that is basically out of this world. This is the heat check. If you happen to be up early this morning, you may have noticed a few retros actually dropped out of nowhere. One of those is the Nike Air Max BW Olympic 2016. Now these take a more alternate take on the USA colors with that bright crimson being the big change in the look, and Finish Line is gonna have those available now for $120. Keeping it retro, Nike pays some respect to Ken Griffey with the OG colorway of the Air Max Griffey 1. These are actually pretty dope and are available now for 150. Going back to 2008, Nike basketball is showing love to the Hyperdunk and a few monotone colorways. That blue and that black colorway are really dope. These will set you back $150 as well. The Olympics are definitely going to take over your airwaves in just a bit, and Nike wants to make sure that you're in the right kicks to set the mood. The Nike Air Force 180 is one of my favorite Olympic models, and you can grab those for $140. Keeping that Olympic theme going, Nike Sportswear is showing the guys some love with the Nike Air Pegasus 92. Last week, the ladies got all the shine with this model, but this week, the guys are getting the love. The model keeps the USA love going, but also shows a lot of track and field love there on the heel. Those will cost you $140. Switching to Friday, Adidas Originals is keeping the NMD love going with the blackout whiteout pack now the pack includes the city sock and the runner the runner is my favorite and the runner actually gets most of the colorway love and design love in this pack either pair is going to cost you 170 dollars when they drop on friday Saturdays have been sort of tame in the last few weeks, but this week is trying to change that up with some triple black love from Nike Basketball on the Kyrie 2. Super clean and sleek, and those will cost you $120. Keeping with the blackout theme, Nike Basketball is also hooking up Kobe with an all-black version of the Kobe 11 EM. Not triple black like the Kyrie, but dope nonetheless if you like black kicks. Those are going to cost you $160 for that little bit of gray right there. Jordan is kind of getting into the black kicks phase as well with the premium Jordan 1, though this pair will have a lot more perforations than your usual sneaker. These actually will come in white as well, and the goals will cost you $160. Switching really quickly to Under Armour, the SC30 Select Camp gets two pairs of Currys, the low and the mid. The low will cost you 120, while the 2.5, which will be in stock at finish line, will cost you 135. Return to Jordan, the Jordan 30 Cosmos Kai 54 drops this weekend after a long wait. That Cosmic Upper will cost you $200. And keeping the black b-ball sneaker movement going, Nike Basketball brings us the mic drop colorway of the K, that was really corny. Uh, anyway, the mic drop colorway of the KD9. I really like what Nike's doing with the KD9 actually. Uh, you can support that new Warrior Saturday for $150. Olympic retros and blackout kicks lead the charge for the weekend, so be sure to check below if you want to find out any information about any of the kicks that I talked about today. Feel free to hit that like button and also hit that thumbs up because it definitely helps us out. I am your host, Jacques Slade. This is the Heat Check presented by Finish Line, and as always, guys, I appreciate you. I'll see you soon. Peace. All right. Wow. Sorry, guys. So, uh, let's see. I don't know what this is. Oh, wow. Vault in LA, I got really lucky and won the raffle. So let's stop all of the chit chat and get right to it. So I have two pairs.